Ms. Akwan Rahim, uh, welcome to the lecture number uh, 12th lecture, lecture number 23. Uh, in the previous lecture, we have completed uh, uh, overall heat transfer coefficient and as well as overall heat thermal resistance. But uh, that thermal re resistance also include the area. But uh, in this, when we, ta we are talking about the resistance, overall resistance in overall uh, heat transfer coefficient U factor the area is not included in the resistance so it will come into the formula of uh, uh, heat transfer formula that is that becomes u a t minus t o and t uh, t i temperature could be internal temperature and t out t o could be the outer temperature of the wall if the outer temperature will be higher so it becomes t o minus t i and if the if if it, we are talking about the winter season the formula remains same T i minus T o uh, because internal temperature is around uh, 22 degrees centigrade and outer temperature will be in minus or uh, very low temperature like 7 8 degrees centigrade. So u will be the overall heat transfer coefficient that is also included uh, uh, the uh, uh, thermal conductivity uh, uh, K, uh, L over K like uh, in conduction heat transfer. The resistance value, uh, the resistance formula become, become air, uh, thickness over uh, thermal conductivity, L over K. And we, are, if we are talking about the convection, it will become one over H because area is uh, is not included the resistance. So the resistance formula like this, and uh, if we are talking about the overall heat transfer coefficient, the one over R will be the U. You can write this R will is is equal to one over U or U is equal to one over R. Anyway, uh, most of the material are uh, differentiated with the U value. You will find when the when you are building a, any homes or any building, you have uh, you will be uh, facing the uh, with the properties of the material with the U value. So you can easily recognize it is basically what. It consists of the overall heat transfer coefficient that can be included of for conduction, convection, and as well as radiations. Okay, uh, let's uh, do one numerical which is left in our previous uh, lecture. So you you will get better understanding of U value and uh, thermal resistance, equivalent thermal resistance of different materials. When we sum of all resistance, we can easily calculate the U value, and we can easily also calculate the heat transfer. Uh, rate without knowing the internal temperature of the materials okay uh, we already talked about that the exterior wall have u value differentiate like if we are polymer cracking motor it is 0.93 cell insulation wall is 0.1 calcium silica board is 0 0.20 for uh, the roof material waterproof material have 0.9 autoclave lightweight concrete have 0 0.1.130 and the ground level surface have also have different u value with respect to different thickness okay so now move on the this this is the tables we already done in previous previous classes that uh, these tables telling us the uh, emissivity value of uh, in terms of radiation we are uh, we are calculating the radiation effects also and we also uh, wa want to know the emissivity values and from the emissivity value we can easily calculate the resistance of the radiation due to the uh, resistance due to the radiations and uh, now let's cut the camera and also the u value of different construction material that will be used in an upcoming numerical so now come towards the example 3.16 in which we have a is i just especially uh, take this numerical due to your uh, correlation with your uh, in chemical uh, civil engineering uh, beside this we also have many numerical related to the u value and overall thermal resistance uh, like we uh, electronics system boards etc mechanical system etc so there are many example so i just take the example which relate to your civil engineering which is related to your discipline anyway uh, we already uh, read out the numerical in our previous lecture let's just get done again define the overall unit thermal resistance r value and the overall heat transfer coefficient u factor of the wood frame that we have a wood frame building the build around the 38 by 90 millimeter nominal wood studs this is wood stud 
Sandu to center will distance is 400 and 90 millimeter cavity between the studs filled with the glass fiber. This is basically a glass fiber, glass fiber, insulation glass fiber. The inside finish is 30 millimeter distance wall. This is the inside, uh, in, in, inside the wall is covered with the gypsum board. It is also used in our in Karachi. You can see in many malls, uh, the lights are is placed with the gypsum boards, and we have a very beautiful aesthetic design with the gypsum board. Uh, you can go through any buildings, malls. A lot of work has been done with the gypsum board. It can be easily uh, shaped into different uh, ways. Okay, so and it's, it is also very finished material. So the paint, uh, when we apply paint over here, there will be no any lines and shrinks extra. So the outer side and the outer side is 13 millimeter fiber board. This is the fiber board. This also provide the stable material between the insulation. Okay, and uh, fiber board and the and uh, the outer surface will be level bevel lap. You you can see the shape. This is called bevel lap. Most of the woods uh, outside in, in European countries like uh, uh, UK, UK and many Austria and also are the cold, uh, the areas which have a very cold temperature are covered with the or construct with the wood, wood material. So outside surface also consists of this kind of a lab material. It gives good aesthetic looks and also good insulation to the building and uh, also the strength to the building. Okay. So the outer outer surface is covered with the bevel lab wood, bevel lab uh, sliding. The insulated cavity consistent of seventy five percent of the heat transmission, while the uh, stud constitute twenty one, header constitute four percent. So the seventy percentage of the walls are consist of this insulation, this glass fiber insulation, and only twenty one we can uh, constitute it to twenty five because it consisted as threads and uh, heads both so 21% or uh, 25% consists of this uh, heat transfer due to this uh, stud and 75% consists of this insulation also determine the now uh, also determine the heat loss through the walls house per perimeter is 50 mm 50 meter and the wall height is 2.5 last year was nevada whose winter design is minus 2 and the uh, inside temperature to be 22 degree and assume 20% of the wall is occupied by the glazing what means that uh, on a hundred if we are talking about the hundred percent heat transfer we ca just calculate only 80 percent from this material and the point 20 percent of the home is consist of glazing like uh, walls glass uh, we, we have uh, walls etc so 20 percent consists of the uh, windows like glass window double glass window so we they didn't just give information of uh, glazing like windows so we are not uh, take this uh, 20 percent we just calculating the 80 percent heat transfer through this walls okay so the overall heat transfer uh, resistance will be one over overall overall uh, heat transfer coefficient and the overall heat transfer coefficient will be the consist of u factor of uh, uh, of u factor of um, insulation area and u factor of stud okay and f is the area that uh, insulation area is covered with 75% and the stud considered with 25% okay so it is written also this here f is just nothing but the percentage or uh, uh, percentage of the overall heat transfer coefficient so let's make uh, just first uh, make a chart that will be very easy if we just read out the numerical it become very difficult but when we just uh, write the uh, make the make the chart it becomes very easy numerical now the uh, from the starting to end we just write the construction material name the outside surface the outside surface consists of air of 24 kilometer per hour wind okay he we have a, a, a resistance value of due to the convection over here the wood will wood bevel lap sliding this is wood uh, wood bevel lap sliding the heat the resistance will value will be uh, due to the conduction 
then wood fiberglass this is the wood fiberglass 13 mm again this is the resistance value due to the conduction and then glass fiber again due to the uh, conduction in some cases there will be the uh, vacant space so if we have a just vacant space here is also a good insulator have a very good insulation value so if we are if if it is a vacant space we take the uh, value of uh, uh, resistance value of convection like still air as we take just outside air we will take still air convection uh, heat transfer overall uh, uh, resistance value then again wood stud and uh, no, no wood stud wood stud will not coming over here the, the heat transfer is uh, wood stud is over here so when we just write the wood stud there will be no r value of glass fiber okay and the value of the and when we talking about the glass fiber we will not take the resistance value of wood stud because we are take we are calculating two heat transfer one is in this direction one is between the one is between the glass fiber and one it is between the stud so we just uh, take no value in wood stud portion but the value of wood stud heat transfer uh, due to the conduction again a gypsum wall board is common for both and the inside surface air is still now we have to extract these values from the this graph like first of all we have a outside surface time uh, 25 km so it is common for both glass fiber and wood stud so we just write on both side and this is the value from this the outside surface winter value will be 0 0.030 resistance value this is the resistance value so we just write over this 0 .03, 0 0.03 then bull wood bevel lap this is uh, wood uh, wood bevel lap sliding have a r value of 0.14 so we just write the r value 114 over here then fiber board this is fiber board uh, the fiber board yes wood fiber board value is 0.23 so we just write 0.23 on both side heat in this portion in this portion these are the common material now the glass fiber in the glass fiber there will be no wood stud in between so we just take the glass fiber value so we just see the glass fiber value insulation 25 millimeter is 0 0.70 but we have insulation of insulation of uh, 90 millimeter okay 90 millimeter so we just we can easily calculate uh, the value of 25 millimeter is 0 0.7 so we can divide uh, 0 0.7 by uh, 25 so 1 millimeter of insulation give 0 0.028 value of R so we have uh, we can multiply by 0 0.028 with the 90 we get the value 2.52 but here it is written 2.45 so it's okay but you in paper uh, when you are solving this numerical you will take the value 2.52 the actual value okay i don't know why they're taking two it is very small uh, um, value difference but they should take 2.5 value okay so the uh, at the start between the start we are uh, just write nil because there will be no insulation between the glass fiber portion when we are talking about the wood start there will be no glass fiber but the value of wood start resistance value so wood start resistance value is uh, uh, where it goes here yeah, like this 0 0.63 wood start 2 inch <coughs> the same wood start is all over here uh, 13 millimeter by 90 millimeter so we take value 0 0.63 then gypsum wall board is common on both so gypsum wall uh, this is the basically gypsum wall gypsum board so we just have a value plaster or gypsum board 13 millimeter half inch is 0 0.079 so we just write this value 0 0.79 over here then inside we have a still here we have not any moving here in winter we we are not running fan inside our room so there will be still here in the winter so the resistance value of the still air is 0 0.12 you can see that these are the values uh, with respect to units of SI units. If we are taking values in British systems, we have to take this. 
this these values okay so so we can write point one two now we have a heat transfer between the fiber glass glass fiber and heat transfer between the studs so we just calculate both resistance values between the glass fiber and stud we just sum all the values it gives three point zero five and between the stud the heat transfers take place one point two three okay or uh, not resistance value so you can easily understand that resistance is inversely proportional to heat transfer so so heat uh, the the uh, the heat transfer between the glass fiber will be lesser than compared to the stud okay uh, so the common question comes why we are using stud over here to join this plate if we had not used this stud how can we join all these plate together okay so it is a, it is our limitation to insert a stud over here anyway we just uh, add the resistance value of both between the glass fiber and stud it is 3.05 it is 1.23 now the u factor will be inverse of resistance so 1 over u 1 over r will be 0.328 and 0.813 now area fraction the area fraction as uh, told in the numerical the area fraction is like 70% area covered by the glass fiber and 25% uh, by the stud so we just multiply this value with the 75 percent and this value with 25 percent now we get the the we just multiply by this 0.3 rate with 75 75 percent and this by 25 and if we add we get the overall heat transfer coefficient between the whole all the walls and we if we convert this value it comes 0.449 watt per meter square degree centigrade and if we make a reciprocal of this 1 over u we get the overall uh, resistance of the wall that is 2.23 meter square degree per watt now from this value we can easily calculate by this formula either by this formula or either by this formula you can also uh, write the value of u a temperature difference the inside temperature is 22 outside is minus 2 and we get the overall heat transfer coefficient value multiply by area we we can calculate the heat transfer rate of the walls and if we we can also calculate the overall heat uh, thermal resistance so we can take this formula as well as now we have to calculate the area the perimeter of the building is 50 meter and the height of the wall is 2.5 perimeter is basically what sum of all side like in the in in the uh, if we example of a room we have a four walls so 50 means it is a sum of all walls distance like if i have a square room uh, it will be like uh, uh, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, 13.5, no, sorry, 12.5, 12.5, 12.5 is 25 and 12.5, 12.5 is 25, so if we sum the four side of the walls, it becomes 50, so we just, I just giving you idea, you just don't need to uh, imagine what will be the sum of all parameter, I just, uh, may, just may understand, uh, try to may, uh, give understanding how the parameter is calculated over here so it is the uh, uh, length of all side of the rooms and if we multiply by the height we get the area and the height of the wall is 2.5 meter no, uh, noting that glazing constitute 20 percent so if we just may uh, calculate multiply by this thing we get the value of overall area of the room so we have to minus the area that is constituted with the glazing that is a 20 percent so whatever will be the answer we should multiply by uh, with 80 percent so we just neglect that 20 percent of the uh, uh, area that is uh, considered by the glazing so the parameter multiply by height give the area and when we multiply with the 80 percent so it gives 100 meter square area now we, ta we can take both formula whether u a t i minus t o or a t i minus t o over r 
so here we are we just uh, we take the formula of overall heat transfer coefficient so the u value overall heat transfer coefficient is 0.449 the area is 100 the inside temperature is 22 the outside temperature is minus 2 so we just calculated the heat transfer overall heat transfer of the room okay now after this numerical uh, the whole heat transfer uh, portion will be end uh, portion is end so uh, the heat transfer portion ended over here uh, i just give you some uh, uh, homework uh, very uh, next to this numerical we have a example of this masonry wall in previous numerical we have done uh, example of uh, wood structure wall and now we have a, a numerical of masonry wall that is constructed in pakistan and and also they have uh, they have insulation of a cavity bricks that is providing the insulation of a ear and also with the insulation between this ear gap between this lab so you are you have to calculate this with the british units like in the table we have both unit meter and also british units so you are uh, you <coughs> able to calculate in both units so whether in the practical uh, in your practical exposure whether you have a uh, construction material units and British units you also familiar with that table and you can easily calculate the heat transfer and can easily differentiate what material should be needed <coughs> and what is should be the optimum uh, in case of your construction in your practical life okay like in practical uh, uh, in, in Pakistan the Jamlon board easily available in the market you can also ca use calculate that after putting the Jamlon board how much the heat transfer will be reduced before the Jamlon board we have a very high value of the heat transfer in summer as well as in the winter but by putting this how much it reduce and how much will then you also did the numerical by calculating that if we maintain that temperature how much uh, energy it uh, will be lost due to this insulation so uh, you can easily convince your clients to use that insulation to have a better uh, uh, thermal efficiency of the building and better uh, uh, operational cost to reduce the operational cost whether the construction cost uh, increased but the that increase of construction cost will be uh, overlapped in six months or eight months and after eight months you will you have a getting you are getting uh, advantage of insulation and have a low operational cost of your building by running uh, at, uh, your air con uh, air condition at a lower value of energy so these are the example or these are the advantage of uh, this numerical you can calculate by this calculation you can easily convince your clients and i i do want that you people should <coughs> use that uh, these kind of insulation in construction so in pakistan we also have a very good uh, op, uh, good comfortable buildings with a reduced uh, operational cost so person living in over uh, on that buildings uh, have a lower billings have lower bold burden of the energy crisis that is available in the Pakistan that is in the Pakistan